Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the Foscam FI9821P HD wireless IP camera. So the first thing you should do is plug the Foscam into the power AC adapter and also plug an Ethernet cable from your router into the Foscam. Next, you're going to need a software called IP Camera Tools. So I'm going to demonstrate this on the MacBook Pro with Retina, so this one does not have a CD drive. And so I, that way I cannot pop in a CD that came with this unit. Instead, I can always download it from the Foscam.us support website. So go to Foscam.us and click on support. And here, just scroll further down and you'll see the CD installation software. So since I'm on a Macintosh computer, I will download the IP camera tool for Mac. If you're on a Windows computer, simply just use the IP camera tool for PC. So I already downloaded the one, the tool earlier. Here it is. I'm just going to run it right now. And what this is going to do is basically scan my network for all Foscams I can find. And here's the FI9821P. So I'm just going to double click on this and open up a web browser for it. So notice this part right here where it says plugins are not found. Click to download. If I do not download a plugin and I just log in, I would not be able to view the video or anything. I'm just demonstrate that for a minute. Well, I haven't changed my password. This is my first time setting up, so the user ID and password are still the default, and it's just reminding me to change it. So right now, there's nothing, no, there's no option here allowing me to view the camera because I do not have the plugin. So let me just head back to the login screen. This time, I'm going to download the plugin. Let's click this. It's going to download the plugin. I'm going to head back to the download folder. So here's the plugin. I'm just going to install it, open it. Okay. And hit continue, continue, install. All right, it's installed. So I'm gonna head back to Safari. I'm gonna close my browser, quit Safari. And now I'm just open the IP camera tool again. Double click on the 21P. It's asking me do I want to trust it. I mean, yes, I'm gonna trust this IP. And now I'm gonna log in. So the first thing it's asking me is change your password. Don't leave it a default, which is blank. Okay, so very easy. Now I'm in. Next thing I'm gonna do is there's two things. One, create a password for my login for security reasons, and two set up the Wi-Fi on this so I don't need to plug it into my router. So change my user ID and password. I'm going to head to so you try basic settings, user accounts, administrator. I'm going to uh, change password and just specify a password. I'm going to leave the default password blank, new password, and then I'm just going to hit modify. Password changed successfully. I'm going to ask me to log in again. Okay, there you go. So next thing is adding it Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go to network section, wireless setting. I'm gonna first scan to see if it finds my wireless. All right, so I found my wireless. I'm gonna put in my password. So hit save. Wireless has been set up. Only way to test this is to go unplug it from the ethernet. So here's the IP camera. I relocate the same room I'm in right now. The Ethernet cable is not plugged in. And I closed Safari, I closed the IP camera tool. I'm just going to reopen the IP camera tool because the router most likely will assign a new IP, which it did. If you noticed before, it was a dot nine, now it's a dot ten. So I'm just going to double click on this again, put in my password so I can log in. And once it's logged in, well, here's the video. Hello. It's uh the quality's good. Well, it's 720p, one meg one megapixel sensor. All right. So now that Wi-Fi is set up, just about almost everything is done. You can't start using it right now. Except that there's some things I still like to change. So I'm gonna head back to the settings here. I'm gonna head to the pan tilt zoom. I'm going to head to the startup options, and I always want to turn this off. 
I don't like it when every time it powers up, it just does a scan of the room. Hit save. For IP, now, if I don't want this IP to change constantly every time it boots up, I don't want my router to assign a different IP, I'm going to uncheck this and just hard code it. I'm going to give it a, let's see, I'm going to give it a 160. And for my gateway, let's see, that 168, one, and same goes with these two. So these numbers, they come from your router. If you don't know what is supposed to go in here, just look at your home computer, for example, and secondary DNS server. I'm going to hit save. So it's going to take a minute to reboot, and once it reboots, I am going to have to close the fire again and reopen it. And this time I'll be heading to the address 192.168.1.160. I'm going to hit trust and log in. And there's my video again. Let's see what other settings we can play around with. User account. Now, most of the time I would not use my admin account. What I should recommend is create a second account. Call it like call it like operator, for example, and just give it a password and give this one operator rights. That way the person logging in, they can adjust the camera, move it, uh, they can view it, they can talk, but what they cannot do is create other accounts, change your Wi-Fi settings. Just hit, I'm going to hit add. And just use operator for now. Now multi-camera. Here, I it already detected I have another camera on this list. So I'm just going to choose, all right, it's an MPEG model. I'm just putting my username and password. Hit add. All right. I think for many folks out there, they want to be able to view the FOSS cam on their smartphone, mobile devices, and perhaps not so much on a web browser or on a computer. So to view it on your iPhone or Android phone, FOSS cam came out with an app called the FOSS cam viewer. It's, it's free. It's in the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And let's launch it right here. On the bottom of this app, there's a IPC button, press that. Then there's a second button from the left, is a magnifying glass with the QR code symbol. So just press that, and the camera opens up. On the bottom of the FI9821P is a QR code, and simply scan it. And once you scan it, it automatically populates the device ID here. And just pick a name. I'm going to call it 21P. And I'm going to put in a username. And I'm going to put in a password. Then just click OK. Ask success. Click back. It's now on my list. I'm going to click on this 21P. It's going to try to connect. Connection successful. Hello. So now I can view it on my smartphone. And if you can take a look on my smartphone, I'm not connected on the Wi Fi. I'm connected using the cellular data. So I'm on the AT&T LTE right now. And that just shows that I did, I did not set up any port forwarding rules. The only thing I did was scan a QR code on this camera using the FOSCAM viewer application. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial video on how to set up the FOSCAM FI 9821P the new P2P IP camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.